So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get one microbit and then make it communicate with another microbit. So first thing you do, plug your first microbit in. And if you have a second cable, plug your second microbit in. You can see that one is in drive D. And then this one will pop up on my screen in a second, will appear on drive, drive E. So what we're going to do is we're going to get D to talk to or communicate with E. So I'm going to set up a Bluetooth signal between the two, a radio signal between the two of them. So start off with your new project and we'll sending test. Create. You've got your new block here. Now, we're going to put the same code into both micro bits for this one. Um, in some other projects, you might choose to do a sending and a receiving code. But for this one, we're just going to put the same into both. So the first thing we do is we click on radio. And we're going to set a radio group. And we're going to stick that in forever, meaning it's going to be happening all the time inside the micro bit. We can select any number for this, and it just means that the two micro bit bits will be put on the same wavelength. So set number five for that. It could be one, um, it could be anything. Just set any number for that. Now, then you next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on radio received. Actually, my mistake. On radio received number something is going to happen so next thing we're going to do is go into our logic gate and we're going to click if it is true so if a certain statement happens something will happen inside this so if go back into our logic command so there we've got zero is equal to zero so we'll say in this one um, if receive number is equal to, let's say two. So if your micro bit receives the number two sent by radio signal, something will happen. So we'll say it's going to show the string hello. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to say, what's, how are we going to send off uh, a two? So we'll say, Input, when button A is pressed, we're going to go to radio. It's going to send the number two. Now let's just make a second one of both of these commands. So if I click this and I click Control and C, that will copy it. Click here and then Control and B. And we're going to just change this. Now you could go back and drag all the symbols out of this side, just like we made this one, but this is just a slightly quicker way of doing it. So when button B is pressed, it's going to send the number three. Then what we're going to do is we're going to click this one, Control and C to copy. Go down here, Control and V. I'm going to paste it and drag it into this section here. So we've got two things that are going to happen. When button A is pressed, it's going to send the number two to the other micro bit. When button B is pressed, it's going to send the number three. On the other micro bit then, the one that you're not pushing buttons on, when it receives the number two, it's going to say hello. And when it receives the number, we need to change this to three. It's going to say goodbye. So next thing you do, we're going to go to this micro bit first, and we're going to save sending test. We can actually copy, so down to our right hand side, right click, show in folder. We're going to copy this test. You can see it's highlighted here into micro bit D. And see it just takes a minute to download and then we're going to take the same code and we're going to put it into micro bit e
Now let's go back out and we'll test the two of them. Well, you can test it in two ways. So you can either try it with this one. So say we send it to A, you can see it's going to make something happen on the other micro bit. So you can say it's going to say hello. If we press B, it's going to say goodbye. So let's try it out with our two actual micro bits sitting up here and here. So we've got this one and we're going to communicate with this one. So if I click that, you see this one says goodbye. And then we click B, it's going to say hello. And it will work the other way around because we put the same code into both of them. So if I click this one, see that one says goodbye and then this. it'll say hello. Now this is really useful. If you want to use any of these in conjunction with something that, um, if you use these with a robotics board, you can hook that up with a motor and you can have something where this can be used as a remote control to turn on one motor or to maybe turn a servo in a particular direction. Uh, that's the end of that.